It's not how much money you earn, but how much you keep. That is the key to your financial success. And the delta between those two numbers is how much you spend. In this video, I'll cover the idea of conscious consumption and how being more objective about what you spend can help you long term. According to eMarketer, advertisers around the world spent over half a trillion dollars last year marketing their wares. A third of that, $180 billion, is in the US. And of that, 36 companies, all of whom you know well, spent over a billion dollars in media. It's no wonder you want a shiny new car. I spent 20 years in the advertising and marketing world. The way that you feel about certain companies and brands and products, it's no accident. There are brilliant people all over the world that spend their whole careers figuring out exactly how their shampoo will make you feel energized, or their gum will empower your day, or their car will make you feel like a rock star. But it's not all advertising's fault. Humans are hardwired to compare themselves to others. It helped us survive during much tougher times when the weak ones of the tribe had to be left behind. This hardwiring manifests itself now into the syndrome known as keeping up with the Joneses. In the words of Will Rogers, too many people spend the money that they earn to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. In this chapter, I cover tips on budgeting and managing your credit cards. They're the practical manifestations of controlling your spend. In this video, I'd like to explore the idea of conscious consumption. My goal with my business is to turn consumers into investors. And step one of that transformation is for people to be more aware of what they're spending their money on. Conventional wisdom says to pause before you make a purchase, research the options, wait a few days, comparison shop. You can do all those things. But if they worked, the average debt of a household with credit card debt would not be 15000 as it is now. My view is different. I'm a big believer in the idea of follow the money, in both your career and in having a better understanding of where your money goes. You work hard for your money. Everyone does. And then you give your money to companies for the things that you want and need. Those companies work hard for your business, but their primary responsibility is their shareholders. Those brands that empower and energize and make you feel like a rock star, they're working for the people who've invested in them. Or to put it differently, the outcome of your hard work and the hard work of these companies is making Mr. Connecticut hedge fund manager richer. So who owns the companies that you spend money with and who's getting paid? They're much more powerful ways to be conscious of your consumption habits than just pausing or price checking before you buy. Now do one more thing. Look around at all of the stuff that's made it into your home and into your closet. How much of it do you truly value? How much is functionally important? And how much is just stuff you could have done just fine without? Or perhaps it's things that you wish were better quality. Remember this mini audit the next time you're shopping. Every dollar you spend is a vote for the companies that you're buying from. Are they companies that you trust and believe in? Or are you just buying out of habit? Your money is enormously powerful. Use your votes well.